order the values from least to greatest. In order to do this, we're going to need a number line. And it's important for us to know that the values on the left of the number line have less value, and the numbers on the right side of the number line have greater value. This will help us to put the numbers in order from least to greatest. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we can put all numbers on the number line. And there's a couple numbers we're going to have to adjust before we can graph them. The first one is the absolute value of negative 7. So you may be asking, what do the bars mean around the negative 7? Well, they mean absolute value. An absolute value is the distance between a number and 0 on a number line. For instance, in order to find the absolute value of negative 7, the first thing we would have to do is graph negative 7. Next, we would have to count the number of spaces from negative 7 to 0. When we count those, we can see that there are 7 spaces from negative 7 to 0. So the absolute value of negative 7 would be 7. If we look at these numbers, we also need to adjust the fraction. The good news is we can easily convert a fraction to a decimal. In order to convert a fraction to a decimal, divide the numerator by the denominator. So we would do 1 divided by 2, which is equal to 0 0.5. So 1 half is equivalent to 0 0.5. Now since all of our numbers are whole numbers or decimals, we can graph the numbers. We'll start with negative 7. Then we have 1, 6.5, which notice that's halfway between positive 6 and positive 7. The absolute value of negative 7, which we said was positive 7, negative 3.2, and finally 0 0.5, which is halfway between 0 and 1. Now that we have all these numbers graphed, we can see on the number line that the numbers all the way to the left have less value than the numbers to the right. So what we can do is starting with that negative 7, put these numbers in order from least to greatest. So we have negative 7, negative 3.2, 1 half or 0 0.5, positive 1, 6.5, and finally the absolute value of negative 7 which we said was positive 7. So now we have these numbers in order from least to greatest. There's a couple things I want us to recognize when ordering numbers from least to greatest. The first thing is that negative numbers will always have less value than positive numbers. So they will be further left on the number line and listed first when ordering from least to greatest. Absolute value means how far a number is from zero on a number line. And remember, that's what those bars meant around the negative 7. And finally, we can convert a fraction to a decimal by dividing the numerator by the denominator. All right, now it's your turn to try out this new skill. Order the values from least to greatest. I recommend you pause the video now, solve, and resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. All right, let's take a look. The numbers in order would be negative 4, negative 2, negative 1, 1 and 1 half, which is equivalent to 1.5 as a decimal, 1.8, and finally the absolute value of 3, which is 3. If you add any of these out of order, I would recommend you pause, review your work, and see if you can find your mistake. Thank you for watching.